Peace, family. Peace, family. Sincere Naquari. New Beat Wednesdays. I'm on, man. I'm on. I'm a little late for my break, but you know how I go. Sometimes we got to take care of life responsibilities, which alters. And uh, so I'm on here for my new Beat Wednesdays talk. Why are you doing music? The question of why is a critical, critical, critical question to be asked. Uh, so I'm going to wait a little minute to see to see if uh, many of y'all going to jump on here. You know. Um, I invite people. You know what? I'm not even going to invite people. I'm not even going to invite because um, do you know that uh, people know the voice of truth. People know the voice of wisdom and direction that suit their purpose. So whoever's listening or whoever begins to listen at some point, you'll know if this resonates with you. Peace, Rose. Peace. Thanks for joining. Um, So yeah, this is my new Beat Wednesdays talk. Get on here and talk about issues or matters that hopefully uh, can inspire and motivate us to uh, move in a, in a positive uh, direction. Keep that momentum going. Uh, this week, actually, the new beat that I dropped is a reggaeton type beat. What's up, Matthew? Sub price. Uh, WDS, my man, man, I I love your show, brother. I love what you're doing in your community and how you bring hip hop and community activity uh, in one, man. It's it's awesome. So for those who don't know, uh, WDS, uh, Winston, Dramatic Mills. Uh, look him up on Facebook. Check out his show, especially those out there in the uh, Jersey, Jersey area. Beatmaster, man, appreciate it, Matthew. <laughs> appreciate it. Yeah, we we the question um, is today why? Oh, let me back up. Let me talk about my new beat drop. A new beat drop today is a reggaeton, hip hop, slash hip hop beat. Um, you can go to my Facebook and, and it's, I got a YouTube link on there. On my fan page, I got a, uh, the video of the beat up. And certainly at SincereNaquari.com, you can check it out. Actually, a Facebook uh, follower. Um, Suggested that I try a reggaeton beat. I hadn't done it in years, and so I thought it was a good idea. So I think I did pretty good. Um, it is a conscious vibe to it. Um, at the beginning of the beat, I, I have uh, I, I got this clip where uh, it was some some protests I think going on in St. Louis, and there's an elder gen gentleman um, with a group of, of, of fellows. Um, they, they were um, confronted by some police officers and the man was saying, hey man, we just flesh and bones. We ain't got no guns. We ain't got nothing. We just flesh and bones. So that kind of gave the idea of the track and the concept of the, the beat and it's called Flesh and Bones, but it's a reggae tone type vibe. Um, I think when you hear that beat, you're gonna, it's gonna make you feel some kind of way. And that's the key to music, man. Um, and musicians, artists, your music 
should make a person feel a certain kind of way. Whether it's sad, happy, um, aggressive, uh, whatever the other emotions are, um, conscious. That's what that's what music is, man. It 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 makes you move, or it makes you it gives some type of emotion, even if you can't relate to the actual subject matter. It can make you feel sympathy, or make you feel some kind of way about it. You know. I'm gonna have to go see that. Yeah, man. Please go check it out, man. Go check it out. Reggae tone thing. So. Hey, the question today, you know, why? Why are you doing music? Why? I think that is a, a, a question, a number one question that all artists, all producers, and really in any field, that is one of the number one questions that you need to really think about and center around. I know for me, uh, when I started doing music at a very young age, um, before I even knew myself well, I, I started doing music at five years old. Um, I'm a PK kid. That means preacher's kid. Uh, my father, rest in peace. Um, actually, tomorrow will, will be his um, 11th day. I mean, 11, 11 years since he passed. It will be tomorrow. Um, so rest in peace. Big loves and shout out to, to my father. But at a very young age in the type of church, some of you may know Pentecostal church, um, Christian church, they believe in a lot of mu musical elements in their service. And so I began to really gravitate to the musical aspects uh, through my father's church. And, you know, that led to drums, that led to keyboard and led to playing instruments in school and so forth so for me music was a connection emotional connection and a spiritual connection um, from a very young age I didn't even know you know that you could make money make you know doing music it wasn't until probably at a point um, through my church organization I became like the the head musician they call them like the uh, minister of music at, at that time now they call them music directors I think now in some of the churches but uh, it went to a point where I, 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 uh, somebody you know other musicians was like you know you 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 could get paid for this you could get paid for doing this and so that's where that, that church that church hustle kind of came in you know and I remember my father uh one time, because being the preacher's kid, you know, the church looked like they want to take advantage of the musician. You know, I was there working, choir rehearsals, teaching songs, and, and the whole nine. And my father actually had to push uh, the church that, you know, that we should be paying uh, the musician, which was myself, even though, uh, you know, I was going to be there anyway. <laughs> But yeah, so just to get back to, for me, music has always been an element or instrument, like just something I love to do, and something uh, had some had a, like a spiritual connection for me. When I graduated high school, um, I always been involved in music, sports as well, but. I had to make a decision in high school whether I wanted to do sports or music, so I, I chose music. And graduating high school, I remember having uh, the goal that I wanted to make music. I wanted to make a record that could change the whole world. I wanted to make music that crossed all barriers, right? And in some way can enhance uh, humanity the world I mean like Michael Jackson level stuff I was a big Michael Jackson fan so for me music has always uh, at the beginning been a tool where I could use to motivate and inspire people right but somewhere along the way uh, this would have been the early 90s graduating uh, high school 1990 uh, came to college 
uh, Florida A&M um, in the 90s. I was a music major at first, but you know, being that I knew music, I thought I knew all that, all this stuff. Like I ain't need none of that education music. I could do this on my own, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be like uh, whoever at the time, Jermaine Dupri, uh, Dallas. You know, Atlanta started popping off around the early 90s. So little did I know I did need that education. But anyway, music at some point began to uh, be, I began to, for some reason it was across learning how to make music, trying to make music be a money tool, be a bag, you know what I'm saying? And I think for a minute, that crossed me up because I had opportunities come across um, dealing with other production companies and uh, learning the studio, learning how to make beats, um, because that's a to making beats and playing live is two different things. Uh, some some people don't understand that. Some musicians don't understand that. Uh, being a great musician is not good. That's good, but being a great musician and making beats don't necessarily go to is, that. Don't that does not. That's not an automatic. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so getting back to um, my story here, <laughs> making uh, at some point. Music became like a like oh man I can I can make a bag off of this you know I I can I can do this for a living and when you start getting into that you begin to compromise I know for myself I begin to compromise on what type of music I was uh, uh, making or record or working with certain artists you know what I'm saying um, and so that compromise a lot of times too. Um, will will be very disappointing in the end when you, when the goal is not reached. Say I'm working with an artist, I'm not really vibing about what they're singing about. I'm not really vibing about their whole brand, but I see that they're good, they're talented, and I'm just trying to make it. So when you ride, take that ride with the artist and say for some reason, we don't get picked up by the label. At that time, everybody was shopping for labels. You know, shopping, that's how you did it back then. You know, you, you shop your stuff to a label. Um, and a lot of times when the deal don't go through, you know, you're disappointed. And a lot of times you can lose your passion. You can really lose your passion because number one, um, it's, you felt that that was the only way you can make it by doing that type of genre or doing that type of work. And then on the same, at, the, at that point, you know, you see all the shenanigans behind the scenes of the music industry, which turned me off. I forgot a, a significant point. Um, I, could, I can't say my whole music history here on this live, but I do want to point out there was a time um, before I was going into the hip hop and r and I was I did do a successful gospel record for a gospel choir regionally uh, say Florida uh, definitely Georgia, Alabama area um, I, I wrote a record I met Bobby Jones I'm, uh, uh, the choir that I performed with or wrote the record for, I actually performed on Bobby Jones. I met Bobby Jones. Bobby Jones actually gave me words, say, man, you keep it up, man. You're gonna be one of the next great ones, right? Um, I don't wanna give full disclosure because I know some people on here on my uh, Facebook know what I'm talking about. Maybe one day I, I, I'll tell it all, but but anyway, through that experience, I learned that, man, the gospel music world <laughs> was a mess on business you know what i'm saying I, I signed some type of document that wrote my rights for earnings off that record you know uh even though i had the copyright to it but the actual record and the money's earned off the song i didn't earn anything i never forget somebody told me i mean um like it was i was in school at the time and somebody came back and reported me, reported to me that there's this big church in Atlanta, I think at the time where the Pace Sisters, anybody know about gospel, Pentecostal gospels, the Pace Sisters, 
Uh, they were big in the 90s, and I guess they had a church or something. But they went to their church, and they were singing my song. The choir was singing the song that I wrote. And, I'm, you know, so that was a big turnoff for me. And so let's, let's, let me see if I can make this full circle around here, if everybody following. Um, so I think the essence of is, 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 is when at some point, um, the money portions, yeah, I didn't know my business good at, I think I was 19 when I wrote that song at the time. Um, yeah, the money, chasing the money thing can sometimes or will, um, uh, can get you uh, lost as who you are and why you started doing music in the first place, you know? And I think why, not to say that that's bad. Some people do do music just for the bag, just to get the money, you know? I think for each individual, each individual person, you have to really ask yourself, why am I doing music? And from that, right, from that point, begin to make your brand, make your career. I think by guarding that, your passion for music, your love for music, um, how you do business, right, will go well for you, will go much better for you. And your success, right, you will be determining your own success because you are trying to fulfill the why of what of of what you're doing you get what i'm saying so for me my music the reason why i'm doing music or i want to do music is i want to in some way be inspirational be motivational be encouraging be thought provoking um be an expression of real, you know, excuse my French, but real shit, you know what I'm saying? Um, and in some kind of way, also have an element of spiritual consciousness. That's, that's what, that's why I do music, right? That's my intent. That's my intent. And for those who don't, maybe you don't do music, I still say, you still should ask yourself, why? You know, whatever passion it is or whatever whatever it is that you're going for, you need to ask yourself, why do I want to do this? Or why am I doing this? Because the why is going to give you at least a goal or an aim to how you need to execute. You know what I'm saying? Also, the intent matters because now... You need to align yourself with pe like-minded people or like-minded situations, or at least if they're not like-minded, at least on this particular project you're working with someone, you they're clear and you're clear where you stand and what you're trying to do with whatever passion, with whatever project, whatever business that you have. Um, also, I would say that <clears throat> Once you understand the why, be open to different methods of obtaining that goal. Like, for example, um, I gave you why I'm doing music. I want in some way to better humanity. Uh, I, I in some way want to inspire folks. I in some way want to uh, elevate uh, spiritual consciousness uh, to folks. Well, music is not the only way to do that, right? Music is not the only way to do that. So sometimes you have to step back and still ask yourself, what for you and your talents and gifts, what would be what what method would give me the most impact, right? What method would give me the most impact? Now, even though I do music and so forth, I do understand that me speaking to you and me uh, teaching and me uh, possibly vocalizing uh, and sometimes I do um, 
presentations and educational uh, seminars or what have you by me doing that I know that probably has a greater impact than my music impact right so sometimes you got to fall back and understand what's your greatest impact for the intent that you that you're trying whatever it is that you're trying to do so if my greatest impact right which I'm becoming to understand and learn like is my teaching right um, presentations um, then I I should not begin to hold back or downplay or be afraid right to try another method of my reason for why or my intent of execution it's not to say that you you know I stop doing music or I just put that aside because that's a gift that still has impact but I do understand what has the greater impact music many times is music deals with emotions right artists producers music lovers music deal with emotions so music will create an environment for concepts to be placed again music is muse it comes from the word muse to muse so if you like for example in, in the church even though I'm Islam I'm Islamism now but even though in the church a lot of times they do songs they <laughs> play you know they got the music going or whatever that's to get the people muse that's to, to get uh, uh, to move a person's emotions in the right space so they can be in the right space where environment where they can receive thought they can receive ideology you know what I'm saying because it's the ideology and the thought right the words that change a man right it's the, the the verbal literature the spirit from the spirit of a man to another spirit of a man that actually changes uh change a man right so with that i'm just saying here don't be afraid to try new methods for some of you guys um you may want to stop doing music don't mean you don't stop the why you know, some of you, your impact, you, you got a gift that's, you have a greater uh, method for impact by using another method than music, right? For some of you, music is your greatest impact. For some of you, you your music is your greatest impact. Um, but whatever it is, what I'm just trying to say is don't close yourself in a box and think, that you got to have a, a different goal, a different plan. No, it's just a different method so that you can be that, uh, fulfill that purpose, that divine purpose that the Most High have given you. Uh, you're just using a different method to fulfill that purpose. But it all starts with why. Even before you discover your methods, it all starts with why because that gives you your intent that gives you your purpose and the reason why many of us are failing the reason why I have failed uh, a lot of times even in my music uh, endeavor is because I lost track of my intent I just I believe that that's, that's what I believe because even if you were to uh, say mon people a lot of times think monetary success is that means you're successful. But even if you was given all the money, but it was you was doing something that you really didn't love, you really didn't, you really wasn't into it. You're doing gangster music, but you know you're not gangster. And so now you got a whole career that you have to be gangster or portray that gangsterism. That's not peace. You know what I'm saying? That's, you can't find no peace with that. 
can't find no peace with that. That's that's man's number one goal is to find peace, peace with man, peace with God, peace with nature, peace with himself. You feel me? So that's still not success. You know, that's still not. It, it makes no sense. People who have money take their lives. We hear about it all the time. You know, we hear about it all the time through history. But just to encourage you, uh, family, the why. Ask yourself today, you know, why do I have a passion to do A, B, or C, or D? All right. And usually, if even if you have multiple things and multiple projects that you're working on or you're juggling, I guarantee you it still comes back to a one why. All the things are connected. Everything you do is connected, right? If it's solely about money, hey, I mean, that, that may be you. If it's solely about helping folks, it, that's what it is. If it's solely about... Um, uh, you know, family, uh, uh, proving somebody wrong, uh, or see how, how many material things that you can get, you know, whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, I, I, I'm not here to make that judgment, but I think that the why will answer if you will answer, if you know, if you're going in the right direction, the right path, you know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of my uh, beat talk. I didn't was able to uh, look at the comments too much. Let me just go back through before I get off here and see if what what some of the folks were saying. Matthew, to get rid of the blues, you gotta find a rhythm. <laughs> uh, Price, there's many reasons I do music. From how I feel to what I want to get out and let people connect. That's good. Music is my channel, Matthew say. I do music for my passion, for the beat. Uh, Matthew again, beat bones, new track. Cement, flesh and bones. Yeah, facts. Uh, Driver said facts. Matthew, I live in Chicago but incorporate my southern twists. Yeah, that's cool, man. Do your do your own flavor. Charm. Miss Charm, what it is. Ivan, what it is. Dietra, thank y'all for joining, man. Jimmy, Patricia, my sister, thank y'all for watching. Mario, what it is. J Dot, what it is, fam. Thomas what it is thank y'all for joining i hope in some way man i don't have all the answers but maybe in some way uh this inspires you to be able to have introspection and and, and inspires you in a way where you won't be discouraged because you're looking at someone else's career and you're trying to judge their career um against your own and you might not be uh, moving like they're moving, or you might not have the success like they have. All of us here that are doing music, all of us um, are not gonna get the, you know, the million dollar mil million dollar contract. All of us are not gonna uh, be able to live off our music. But that doesn't mean that you you can't do music. That doesn't mean you can't perfect the craft and put your energy out there and have some impact in our society through your music. You know what I'm saying? So I want to encourage everyone, you know, whether you're doing it as a pastime or as a part-time or you're doing it just out of love, you know, just understand the why you're doing it, you know? Whether it's like my man, your passion, or whether it's, uh, uh, you just, you know, it's a way for a, a therapy for you, you know, it, it, that's fine. And so that way, when you begin to uh, assess um, your your development, your career, your musical career, you're able to um, be cool with it. You know what I'm saying? 
not in a way you like, oh man, I might as well stop. Oh man, you know, I ain't going nowhere with it. it I mean, it, it just depends on what your, your, your why is, you know what I'm saying? Because if, if you're not fulfilling the why, maybe you do need to stop. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you are wasting your time if the why is not being fulfilled. You feel me? So, um, you know, it is what it is. I know for me, I have a why. I think for me, the thing I have to look out for is spending too much uh, ends in it, in, in the music, right? Where it's not giving me enough results on um, uh, the other things I need to be pursuing financially. So I try to <laughs> sometimes make sure I put a I put a check on that, you know, um, and, you know, you know, make it, you know, make it balance out. And, and that's what I, I would encourage other folks. Make sure now, you know, you don't want to go over and above and get in debt. Right. When your why is just imp to be impactful. Like for me, my, my why is I want to make some type of impact. Uh, with the world now I would love to live off my music if I can but if that don't happen for me the world is not ending I'm still eating I'm still living I'm still riding uh, uh, riding around I still have shelter I you know I still can do other things I still have skills I still have other methods to uh, fulfill that why I hope I'm bringing it home I'm a little long today for some reason but uh, I'm going to sign off now. Peace and love. I'm going to actually get back to my, my J-O-B. Um, and, you know, we'll chop it up then. But definitely look out for me on my New Beat Wednesdays and see what it is. What's up, Troy? I didn't know you were seeing that. Oh, yeah. No, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, that was, that was my, <laughs> one of my uh, supervisors there. But, um, but yeah, I lost track, lost track. Oh, New Beat Wednesdays, that's right. Check me out, my New Beat Wednesdays, reggaeton type beat, you know, check it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, uh, I love to hear your comments about the, the talk as well. Peace and love. Y'all have a, a wonderful, excellent day. I'm out, I'm out family, till next Wednesday.